What's up everybody and welcome back to the SAT Math Perfect 800 Tips video series. This is tip number three. This is a really cool tip that I figured out through trial and error and with all the practice tests I've taken and all the videos I've made and it is to answer interpretation questions before looking at choices. So what do I mean? Sometimes there's gonna be an equation and they want you to explain what particular numbers or variables mean. Now, the tendency for most students, myself included back in the day, is to look at the formula and then look at the answer choices and say, okay, this one makes the most sense, boom. But instead, a better and more optimal strategy that will be better for your mind and better for your accuracy is to try and answer it in your own words before you actually look at the answer choices. So I'm gonna give you an example. So if you look at this, they give you a graph and it's important to also look at that graph and kind of understand it before jumping into the question. So it says total cost of dollars and time and hours of renting a boat by the hour. So you can see it's got a fixed point at five and a slope of three. And again, it's important to look at the numbers because you might think, oh, it's a slope of three fourths. No, it's actually going up from five to eight and over by one if you look carefully at the X axis. So now we kind of have an understanding of the graph and an understanding of this boat. Because it's a linear equation, we can understand that there's probably some sort of initial cost because of that Y intercept of five and a slope of three, meaning every hour we're probably paying $3 per hour. Now we come to the question, it says, what does the C intercept represent in the graph? And that's the same as the Y intercept in the standard linear equation. So before looking at the choices, I already know C intercept, Y intercept, that's initial value. That's again, that starting cost of $5. And now we look at the answer choices right there a, we see initial cost of renting the boat, boom, done. Here's another example. It says the figure on the left above shows a wheel with a mark on its rim. The wheel is rolling on the ground at a constant rate along a level straight path from starting point to an ending point. The graph of y equals d of t on the right could represent which of the following as a function of time from when the wheel began to roll. So before looking at the answer choices, I'm trying to understand. It's like this wave. It's a sine wave. So what probably would make sense is going up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, when I look at this diagram, the one thing that I see is that little dot at the top of the wheel. And so when I think about it, well, its height as it, the wheel rolls is gonna go down, it's gonna come back up, go down and come back up. And now I've kind of understood that. Now we look at the answer choices and check it out. The distance of the mark on the rim from the ground, D is the winner. It's right there, boom, done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to come back for tip number four. I wish you all the best of luck on the SAT, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.